Hi, I'm Red. You're watching Gravy Belt. Today we're back on the K24 for my all-wheel drive EM2. Uh, last time I assembled the, the block, showed you guys uh, what I did, put it together with the new studs and everything. So today, more of like a tutorial than anything. Uh, we're going to put the head on, and uh, I'm also going to check the valve clearance on the intake valves to make sure that I have plenty of piston to valve clearance. So when I taken the engine apart before, you know, it looked like there was some signs of maybe the valves touching. Um, I had some drag cartel stage one cams and they have more lift and duration. So um, you can't clock the VTC all the way. Maybe it was, I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna check it for peace of mind so I know exactly where I stand. So uh, we got my head all cleaned up and then I put some uh, helper springs right here or mock-up springs, whatever you want to call it, so we don't have to put a lot of pressure uh, to make these valves move. And I gutted the rocker assembly. We have all the rockers right here, and I'm just going to go on cylinder one, and I put two pins in here to lock those together. So we're going to throw the head on, throw this on, and uh, rotate the motor over and just check to see how uh, everything clears. And uh, once I'm happy with it, then we'll be good. Oh, and uh, I'm just going to be running some K24 cams, just some stock cams. You know, the engine didn't really like it uh, because my uh, turbo manifold is so short that uh, there was just too much overlap because the stage one cams are all motor cams. So I'm just going to run some Honda cams. I've had pretty good luck with those. Should get me to where I need to be. So let's handle it. So I threw everything on. I wanted to put the head on without the head gasket because I didn't want to try to mess it up, but it was, ah, it's not a big deal. It's only just for a little bit. And man, that head fight, fight me coming off. Those studs really fit tight. So as you can see, we got some brand new drag cartel 
uh, chain guides with a special plastic. Uh, everything's lined up. Everything is good. You see the crank is perfect. The cams are perfect. So, right here, we're just going to focus on cylinder one right here. And as you can see, if I push on this, I can, I can feel the piston. So that's quite, a, that's quite a bit right there. So, in order, in order to clock this thing, I might have to take this cover off, just with some torques. And then we got to put the cover or the, the screws back in. Oops. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, be careful with this. This little screw, little spring right here. And then in there is, I'm not sure what you would call that, but that's what actually locks it at zero. So, I'm gonna put these back in for now, just to hold this thing together, because we don't want this thing trying to separate when I'm, uh, when I'm messing with it. But I'm gonna try to wiggle that little piece out. If I can, let's see. What do you think, Nelson? You think we can get this? It is kind of tapered. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. So, what happens is when this thing goes back to zero and there's no pressure, this goes into the backing plate and actually uh, locks it at zero. So. Now the VTC can freely move within its range. Wow, this is an RBC, so it can move 50 degrees. I also have an adjustable exhaust gear, a TOTA one. I've had that thing a very, very long time. When, when did I build my first motor, Nelson? It must have been like 2006. I was going to say 2006, 2007, right about yeah. that time. Yeah, so I've, I've had that gear since I built my first motor. But I actually didn't really assemble the, the bottom end. You know, it, um, my friend John from High Tech did. Okay, so now, as you can see, this this can clock all the way to 50. Right. And if you look right here, say, the lobe is just right here. So it's not it's not even close to actually touching it. So that's on there we need to start uh, clocking the motor over so let me put this piece back in and uh, let's see where we're at dude going. can you see it yeah okay so I put some feeler gauges to lock it all the way and you know if I if I push on this you know, it kind of hurts my finger a little bit I push on this you can see where it where it where it touches see your hands there no but look right here see we still have at the, at the highest point can you see it Nelson I'm with you at the highest point we still have Right there. We still have that much room. I see it. Even 50 degrees. So, that's got to be at least 30 thousandths, probably 45 thousandths. So, yeah, we got, we got plenty of piston to valve clearance. Plenty with these stock cams. Maybe I should put the drag cartel cam in check, but, you know, with those, look at this. All the way, all the way full lock, as you can see right here. This thing is touching, so. I'm golden. So we can throw this motor in, not have to worry about going uh, full advance, because we, we still have some clearance. Actually, while I have this off, look, I can measure it. Let's try this. Let's just throw like, 20 and 21, let's just say like 40 thousandths. Let's 
Yeah, it's probably like 45 thousandths. So, <coughs> plenty of piston to valve clearance. So that just makes me feel a lot better. But I'm gonna work on this uh, here. All right, so I'm satisfied with the valve clearance. Um, I gotta take the head back off. I gotta go get the regular valve springs installed. Um, take all this stuff off, put it all back together, torque it down for uh, the final time. And then next time you guys see this engine, it'll be top to bottom, ready to install in the EM2. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.